Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is October the 25th, 2021. And before I jump into things here, I want to talk about the links in my description. I do have a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you, so please check that out. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from that, and it really helps support the channel. I also have a Spectre Shop with a ton of different designs and a Your Playmat discount code for 10% off when you use my affiliate link down below. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you very much. Now, let's get moving. Starting this off here with Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx from Theros. This legendary land is down 5.11% from $22.88 to $21.71. Our next loser of the day is Time Warp from Tempest, and this Tempest Rare is down 7.98% from $20.94 to $19.27. Next up on our loser section today is Sword of Truth and Justice from the original Modern Horizons. This card is down 10.36% from $22.40 to $20.08. And our next loser of the day is Field of the Dead, another land from Corset 2020. It's down 11.24% from $14.50 to $12.87. And we've got Opposition Agent from Commander Legends. This human rogue is down 11.26% from $9.59 to $8.51. Next up on the list is Glimpse the Unthinkable from Guilds of Ravnica Guild Kits. This sorcery is down 11.30% from $10.09 to $8.95. Our next loser is Metallic Mimic from Aether Revolt. This shapeshifter is down 11.39% from $10.80 to $9.57. Next loser of the day is Colgan's Command from Dragons of Tarkir. This instant is down 11.40% from $10.79 to $9.56. And our last loser of the day is Doomsday from Masters 25. This reprint is down 11.41% from $14.02 to $12.42. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day. And we are starting the list off here with Spire Garden from Zendikar Rising Expeditions. This land is up 6.48% from 1760 to 1874. Now the original version of this card that came out in Battle Bond is currently sitting at 1772 on the market. And this card is seeing a lot of play in the commander format in decks like Tovalar, Dire Overlord, Xanagos, God of Revels, Rurik Thar, The Unbowed, and even Animar, Soul of Elements. And our next winner of the day is Darkness from Legends. It's going up just in time for Halloween. It's up 6.49% from 2017 to $21.48. Now this card is printed in Legends, so it means it has its print run disclosed, and there is 212,000 copies printed from this original set. Next up is another land. It is Blood Crypt from Dissension. This is the original printing of the Shock Land, and it is up 6.51% from $41.49 to $44.19. Now, the reprint from Return to Ravnica is currently sitting at $12.54 on the market, and the Ravnica Allegiance reprint is sitting at $13.63 as well on the marketplace. And this card is seeing a lot of play in modern Jun decks, but it also sees Commander play in Edgar Markov, Lind Cheerful Tormentor, and even Korvald Fey Cursed King. And our next winner of the day is Marsh Flats, Another Land. This is a reprint from Modern Horizons 2, and this fetch land is up 6.74% from $14.99 to $16. The original printing from Zendikar is currently sitting at $19.78 on the market, and the Modern Masters 2017 at $19.14. This card is currently seeing a lot of play in modern format, like decks like Hammer Time Reanimator, and Commander decks like Edgar Markov and Atraxa Praetor's Voice. Next up on our winner section is a standard mover. It is Meat Hook Massacre from Innistrad Midnight Hunt. This legendary enchantment is up 8.70% from $29.19 to $31.73. The extended art version of this card is currently sitting at $46.83 on the market, so about $15 more expensive than the original copy. Now this card is seeing a lot of standard play in Demir Control, Golgari Control, Saltai Ramp, and even Grixis Control as well as Golgari Sacrifice. Next up is Alrun's Epiphany from Kaldheim. This mythic is up 8.94% from $12.64 to $13.77. Now, the borderless version of this card is currently sitting at $11.34 on the market, so actually $2 less expensive than the 
regular copy. This card is seeing a lot of standard play in Is It Dragons, Is It Control, Grixis Control, and even Azorius Control, as well as other standard decks. Next up is Teferi Time Raveler. This is the original War of the Spark printing of this card, and it's up 9.49% from 1665 to 1823. Now, the most recent version of this card from Secret of Layers, the Old Border Treatment, is currently sitting at 2280 on the market, and this card is seeing a lot of modern play in Azorius Control, Blink decks in modern, and also Commander decks like Atraxa Praetor's Voice. Our next winner is Grief from Modern Horizons 2. This card is up 11.53% from 1206 to 1345. Now, the borderless version of this card is currently sitting at 1544 on the market, so about $2 more expensive than the regular copy. It is seeing a lot of modern playing blue living end decks, also legacy reanimator and vintage dredge, as well as commander decks like Turgrid God of Fright. Next up is Rabid Wombat from Legends. This card is up 17.19% from 948 to 1111. And this card did have its print run disclosed, and there is 57,900 copies printed from Legends. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are starting that list off here with Rise and Fall from Dissension. This card is up 43.24% from 259 to $3.71. Next foil mover of the day is Bold War Heavyweights from Morning Tide, and this card is up 48.19% from $249 to $3.69. Next foil mover is Changeling Hero from Lorwyn. The shapeshifter is up 55.73% from $192 to $2.99. And we've got Italia Samite Master from Invasion. This rare old border foil is up 55.73% from 1518 to $23.64. Next up on the list is Twiddle from 7th Edition. The 7th Edition foil is up 61.10% from $43.44 to $69.98. Our next foil mover of the day is Mana Cash from Nemesis. This rare old frame foil is up 77.75% from $728. To twelve ninety four, and our next foil winner is Elvish Lookout from Urza's Destiny. This old frame foil is up eighty two point forty eight percent from two seventy four to five dollars. And we've got quite a spike from Shards of Alara, and this card is up one hundred fourteen point sixty two percent from nine eighty five to twenty one fourteen. Next up on our foil winner section is Death Pits of Wrath from 9th edition. This card is up 231.92% from 307 to 1019. And our last foil winner of the day is Squee Goblin Nabob from Mercadian Mass. This card is up 286.64% from 96.99 to 375. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really means a lot to me. And if you could, could you hit that like button so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm? As yes, I'm still trying to grow and get to that 10,000 subscriber mark. Also, let me know in the comment section, what was your favorite mover of the day? Which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list? And which cards were you most surprised to see? I do make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.